Hello, it's Tanya. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. What we're doing today is I want to pick up on part two with the Stamperia coffee and chocolate little junk journal that I'm making. I did end up getting into the background so, uh, section. So I just wanted to let you know that. And I don't know how long this is going to be. It may be kind of long, so just get you something to drink. You all have told me that you don't mind long videos, and I love them as well. So let's get started. So as a recap, this is what we did last week. We made this. I just think it's really cute. Um, I love that, like I said. I just wanted to make a really cute junk journal that I thought would be perfect for this little um, coffee and chocolate one, okay? But what I'm gonna do, I'm going to bind this first. And you, what I could have done is I could have bound it all before I put these front papers, and that way they would be on top of the binding. But I didn't want to, but I definitely don't want um, some of this little embellishments, ephemera from coffee and chocolate. I don't want to get them the tape on top of that, that I would not like. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and bind this. Now, like I said last week, this is Tim Holtz, and it's the fabric removable tape. And it's kind of wide, but I think it'll work. I really wish I could have found something more in this size, but that's the way life is, okay? So for this, what I want to do is I want to turn this over like this. Now, this is the tab binding method, all right? And this is supposed to be, my understanding, repositionable. It feels pretty sticky, so we will see what we think. Get this from the Dollar Tree that I love to use to remove um, anything that's has a sticky back. It really gets under there and pulls it up quite nicely. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, this will, yeah, this will be good. Okay, so for this tab binding method, how I learned it, and I watched 49 Dragonflies, you have to have an even amount of these pages for it to work okay so you're going to put three on the first one and I think I'm going to make mine about roughly two inches okay and I'm going to put I think this one and you want to have one at the top one in the middle and one at the bottom okay and I'm going to take and you can even use fabric. You don't have to use this, okay? But you want to get them straight and have the same amount of room between them. So I'm gonna do the top and I'm gonna do the bottom. And these don't really have to be perfect as long as your spacing is even. And I'm just using these Fisker's Teflon scissors. And now we're gonna put one in the middle. I think I'm making this long enough. I may not, I may have to start over and make them longer. Okay, then you're gonna flip this over. Then this is our second page. And what we're going to do is put on this same way. Now you want to get them lined up. And if I was smart, I would have used these lines to do that. <laughs> so we'll just try to wing it. Cut this one right here. Okay. 
Then we're going to put, and I need to straighten this up because I got this a little crooked and I don't want it to look crooked. Okay, then we're going to put, oh no, see? This has to go in, be careful. It's not quite as repositional uh, as you think. This has to go in between this. So see, I do need thinner tape or I need to move this up. Oh, just gonna have to pull real easy. Let's see. If you pull it easy, it'll work. Otherwise, not so much. Okay, let's look at this. I can already see that this one needs to go down. Okay, so on this, But when it sticks to itself, it doesn't like to come loose. You could rip fabric if you wanted. Okay, let's try this. I think that will work. All right, then we'll cut us another piece. And Maggie, my little chihuahua is in here if you hear something. Okay, so let's try this. Now we're going to stack this right like this on top of this one. I'm going to try to get it even because my pages are a little... And we want to put down the first three, okay? Now I'm going to have to move this one, I can see, because, well, I'll move this one. I think it would make it better to just move this one. I hope I'm not making this confusing because it really isn't hard. Okay, so we have those three. Okay, like that, all right? Then what we're going to do, since we have two, we wanna put three on this one. It's really an easy way to bind these little junk journals. It's definitely no sew. Now this is going to have to go right back where this was. I hate covering up that much of that clock. We'll pull it back a little. Okay. And like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. This tape is very sticky. But it does, it is repositionable, but you have to be very careful. You can't pull it off hard. And then one more down here. Because I don't sew. So. Okay, so what we're going to do next is then flip this over here and try to get them lined up, the spines all lined up. And we're going to do, if you forget, you flip it up and say, okay, I did a three, now I got to do a two. This is my first time doing this. I 
and I think I should have given myself more room on this right here. Okay. Okay, there's our two. You can see I should have had that more even. Let's 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 see if we can redo that. Oh. This one needed to go up a little bit. Okay, that is better. So we're going to put the two down. Hope I've been in frame. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to put two on this one. I really wish I had had different um, tape, different pattern tape is what I mean, but I didn't, so that's okay. All right, this one is gonna go right here. I think. Looks like it might be off a little. Okay. No. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Now we're going to go back with the two. I'm going to try to put these on something that I can keep up with. Okay, here's that one. Once you get the hang of it, it's really not hard. You just have to, you know, you could draw you out a little cheat sheet if you wanted. Okay, then this one will be here. Now we're gonna flip this right like this. Then we're going to go with the three. Okay. Now with this one, I'm going to put three on there. It's raining here today, so. I hope you're having good weather wherever you are. It's just kind of like a great day to be in the craft room crafting, I think, because you can just hear that slight rain. It's overcast. Now let's try to get this one right. And once you get going, you can kind of line them up to one another to see where you need to be. And like I said, I may have not needed such a long one. Let's put this one right here. Okay. Hope that's going to go in there. This one is going to go about right here. I don't know what I just did a minute ago. Okay. Then you flip this over. No, we got to do our three, our two. Okay. Now, did I get that too close? Just peel off real easily your paper because it will 
It will bother it. Can't do anything about that right now, so I'm just going to do my two. Okay. And this one, you just have to think a little bit. At least I do. <laughs> it's not that hard. It's just you have to think. You're like, okay. All right, so we're doing our two. So we're going to put that one here. And this one here. Okay, then we're going to flip this upside down and hope that I can get my three. Uh, see, I need to. This one needs to come down just a little bit. And I think this one probably could come down just a little bit. I think that one, maybe I cut this tape longer. I did. Okay, then we'll flip this over. Then we'll do the three. Okay. I think that looks pretty on there. It looks like it could actually be like a vintage um, bag of some kind or something that they were carrying their coffee in. Okay, I'm going to try not to get too big of strips. I think I'm getting larger as I go. Okay, now this one is going to go here. But when I saw this tab binding method, I was like, yes, it's a great way to bind a junk journal. If you're like me and you don't sew. And then I, I've also done the other methods where you make the little spines that come up. That's how I originally started doing them. And Maggie, I think I said, is in here with me. And she is like, I want out of here. But she barks when she goes in the other room. All right, so we're going to flip it over here. Okay, so I got to do the two. Okay. I think this is going to be really cute. We're almost through binding this, and then we can decorate it. Okay. And you could have this pre-cut if you wanted. Um, that would work as well. Okay. So we're going to do the three. So I'm going to put this one about right here. So it can't touch. You could, like I said earlier, you could do fabric to do this. No. We're on the two. Every once in a while, my brain goes haywire. Okay. We're doing the two because the three is sticking out there. Okay. And that's way too long. Then we're going to flip this over. And we're going to do the three binding method. I mean the three. Okay. Then we're going to put three on here again. But anyway, you could get um, different fabrics. And you really don't need to make yours as long as I'm making mine. But what you can do is get the fabric. You could tea dye it. Um, you could use cotton and just tear it. You could use drop cloth and cut that. You could get your stamps and stamp on them so they have writing. 
and use that as a binding. You could just use get ink and just use that. I, there's so many ways you can do this. Now, I hope. And then we're going to flip this over. Okay, and we're going to do the two. And this is our last page. So for this, you don't put any on. You just flip this on here like that. Just remember your last page does not get any. Try to make sure that it's lined up. I do like using the removable tape, okay? And this is what we have, look at that. Now I could have done a little bit better job getting them straight right in here. But for my first time, I don't think that's bad. And with that tape being so large, but that's what it's like. And then when you open it, this is what you see. That is such a cute way, but try to get yours straighter than I got mine. But it doesn't have to be perfect. This is a junk journal. Look at this. I love this method, okay? So now what I want to do and I could have done this before, which probably would have made a lot more sense. <laughs> I want to punch some holes up here. Okay, you can either use your crop dial I have this. I'll link everything that I can find. Yeah, I probably should have. That way I could have gone through. I wonder, oh, maybe I can, I can flip them. Yes. Okay, that'll work. I'll take it. That's my back and back. Okay, I'm going to see if this will go through both of them. You can measure it. I think I'm just going to eyeball it. Oh, that went, th whoa, almost got it way too high. Ugh. okay. Note to self, whoa. You need to put that down further okay but it it didn't it didn't break through I would have liked to have had it down here but I'll take that okay you can also put them on the individual pages if you want okay so let's get our ephemera and see what we want to do all right here's all this delicious ephemera and then we have some of these little cards in here that I think I want to use. I think these are just really cute. And I'm wondering if I could, um, well, let me work on this one first. Okay. I thought she was really cute. So I thought maybe she has like a key in her hand and I thought I could put it right here like she's going to unlock the store. So I think for this, you can use like a glue stick if you want. I think I'll just use the Barely Art Glue. And I'm going to get a dry baby wipe. I have some that are dried out and that's what I use that for, okay? Now, where do I exactly want to put her? I think I want to put her, I want her to look like she's walking on this. So I'm going to put her right here. Don't want to block that. It has two doors. And if you wanted, you could, but I, I really wouldn't want it on the front to be a tuck or anything. But you could turn these into tucks on the inside if you wanted. I love this Damperia coffee and chocolate paper. It is so beautiful. Okay. Put her right there. See how cute that looks? Love it. Now we'll see if we want to do anything else. Now is that going to mess up where I wanted to put these? Probably. Because I made these. I know I'm going back and forth. I'll, I'll go back to that in a minute. I just saw that. I was like, oh, no. All right. I may put something else on the front. I don't know. Now, right here, I've been thinking 
about doing like, let's see. Where are they? Got so many little paper. These. I don't know if I have a hole punch that's that small. Maybe putting these in a window every so often. That's too big. Let me try to find my little hole punch. It may be too small. Well, I might try this one right here. It is from EK Tools. It's a one inch. We'll see. I don't know. And what do I want to use for the background? I hate it. My problem is this is such pretty paper. I really hate to cover anything. That's why I was going for the smaller one. Where is my punch? Okay, all I had to do was get up. <laughs> and there it was. All right, let's see if this, this my, I think is, no, I think this is the right size. So let me find a piece of paper that I might want to use down through there. Well, this was, this is lighter. So I might get this and cut this. I don't want it really thick, really wide, I should say. Let me get some of this out of the way. Um, okay, I think it's gonna have to be at least an inch. Um, there's not much I can do about that. So for what I want to do, so I'm gonna go cut this an inch and then I'll be back. Okay, I cut this five and a half inches long by one inch wide. Okay, and then if I take this, and this is on the backgrounds. Put my glue tip in here or it will be plugged up. And I just want to get some really cute coffee images. So I think this is almost... Let me practice on one that I don't care that much about. All right, I'll try this one. We'll see what we get out of this. Oh, that's cute. Okay. All right, so we're gonna try some that I like. All right, I think this one is very cute. I like that. Then, but I want it, to, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to get some lighter ones because I want it to show up too. Um, this one is really cute. They're all adorable, really. I mean, you'd be hard pressed to find an, a, you know, one that's not pleasing. Okay. And then let's look at this one. I like this one. And then. And let's look at, okay, what do I already have? I don't need a bunch of like. Get this one. Let's see how many of these that I'm gonna do. Cause what I'm thinking about doing I think I can get another one on there like I want. I think I'm gonna put, um, if I can find it, I think I'm gonna get this one. I mean, it's it's just average, but I kinda of like it. It has a straw. Um, I'm gonna get some acetate if I can find it. 
and put it on under these. And I think that might look really cute. So let me find my acetate and I'll be right back. Okay, I found this. It's just old, came on my crop -a dial I save almost everything. <laughs> All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to look at this and I want them lined up. I think I like the four better than five. I don't know, maybe I could put a fifth one on there. Maybe that would look better, okay. And I'm going to just draw a little circle around here so I can line things up. You could always do it. It doesn't have to be lined up. You could do it haphazard down through here if you wanted. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to take this little punch that I just did, had, going to line this up with my, as best I can, got that one off. They're going to be off a little, but I think it'll be all right. Okay. I wish I hadn't put it so dark on some of that pencil line. Let's see if we can erase it. Yeah, that came out just fine. Okay, now that is there. And I'm going to take, there's probably an easier way to do this. <laughs> this is just how I'm doing it. So you do, if you, if you know of an easier way, then you go ahead and do it. But I just wanted, okay. I'm gonna take my Barely Art glue Put it on here. Don't need a lot. Line this up. Put it right in there like I want it. Okay. Once you get that first one on there, I think it'll be all good. You just need to make sure you're going straight. There's so many little creative ways that you can embellish this. But I thought, oh, wouldn't that be cute? It's kind of like a menu almost down through there. And I could have made that up. Well, it's not glued down yet, so I still could do that. Then we're going to lift, whoops, this up. <laughs> All right, we're not through with this, okay? Now I want to get my acetate and I'm going to cut it 
and put it on the back of this. Oh, which side do I like? We have options, but I think this allows that to stand out better. So I'll be right back. Okay, I just went in and cut the acetate with my scissors. I thought I was gonna use something else. And I'm gonna use art glitter glue and just glue this, not art glitter, barely art glue and glue this. You could make this a tuck, but I'm not going to. So I've already started putting the glue. Then I'm gonna put the, this on here, like that. Hopefully this won't show all that glue. Definitely try to keep it off of your little windows. Then we are going to glue this right there. I think that is so cute. And if you wanted to make it a tuck, you could have, you know, just glued here, here, and here and left this open and you could have pulled something out, but I'm not going to do that. All right, so here we go. our glue on here. Yeah, if you save your old packaging, you can do a lot with it. Okay. Push it down some. It's another reason I wanted to use Barely Art Glue. It does give you some wiggle room. And I'm just going to hold it down for, some, for a little bit. Because it's on the acetate. And these right here, I have them linked in my Amazon store. They're just knitting needle caps. I get them on Amazon. And look at that, isn't that cute and totally unexpected when you do that? Okay, now let me see, is there anything else I want to add to this page? Let's see. I have so many little, really adorable pieces here. And I picked some of my favorites. Let's see. Oh, well, I could put coffee. I don't know. I could put coffee right there. That's cute. And maybe this right here. And you could make this as a tuck, actually. Let's put this down, though, because I can't forget. I'm going to have to go down further with that because that is not going to work. So, will that still work? Um, I think it adds interest. Okay, I think we'll do it. Now, I think I'll leave this like a little tuck spot if you wanted to put something in here. I think that's really cute. And then coffee. See, if I'd left that as a tuck, I could have put that under there, but I didn't, so I hate cover that picture let me see but that's it that's gotta come down I like it I'm gonna do it 
I think, I just started thinking, I think these are stickers. So you don't even have to glue them. My mind is like out to lunch. Yes, they're stickers. Let me get this. Try to pull this back so I don't pull it all back. Yes, excellent. These are wonderful, wonderful stickers. So let me see. Oh, that is very interesting. I like that, okay. So that's what we have on that page. May do something else on that page. I really probably need to go ahead and fix this before I do the others. I should have just measured down about I think I'm going to get my crocodile. This works great, but I really couldn't see exactly where I was. And with this, I can set it how much room I want down in here. So let's see. I think I really, maybe like a half an inch. All right, let's see. I should have used this to begin with. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do this. So let's just hope for the best. I think that looks about right. Okay, that's what I needed to do. Hopefully, this that I made will cover. Mm, it won't cover. But I'm going to do a lot of... Um, ribbon and that should cover that up okay so i'm going to go ahead and do this back one again oh and i got that one off okay it'll be all right all right so i'm gonna go ahead get my tweezers out and glue this up and I'm just going to use my barely art glue I hate it because I did that but hopefully you won't make that mistake when you do yours now I could put it up like this oh, or do I want it down like this I think I'm going to put it up Okay, and then I'll put this one. I know I'm kind of hopping all over with this. I just didn't want to put anything where it might get in the way of something else I wanted to do. So that's why. I'm doing it like this. But I really think by the time I put the ribbon through there, you're not going to see it, okay? So let's go ahead and do the back ones as well. And I love these little tweezers. They make life so much easier. But I found darker craft cardstock that I had that looked like chocolate or dark coffee to me. So I went ahead and used it. Really wish I hadn't messed up like that, but I did. Okay, 
but I think it's still going to be lovely, okay? So we've got that on there. I don't know if I want to put holes in here. I don't really think I do, um, but we'll see. We can always do that later if that's what we decide. Okay, on this page, and you don't have to have, you know, stuff all over the page if you don't want, and you could make a pocket. Um, I think this is cute. This would make a really cute pocket and then put maybe something little that they have in here in that and I think I will because like I said this is so pretty um, that I don't want to really now with this it's going to make it a pocket. Mm. I peeled the bottom off already. So I should have thought about that. <laughs> I still think that's cute. It's as cute as it can be, okay? Then over here... Um, isn't that adorable? And these cutouts, it comes with cutouts right here that are the same size as this stuff. So, let's see. I, was, I think I was going to put something on here, but what? That might be pretty. Let's see. That would be cute there. I think I'll just put that on there. <laughs> that is really cute. Now you could put steam coming out. Do I have another page that I might want to put steam coming out? Was I going to use it? I think I was going to use it with that. That's cute. The little chocolate. I think I was going to put coffee break there. Oh well. That's all right. I could put it here. And if I can remember to only put half, then this could be a tuck. If I only tear off half, you can even wrap some around the pages. Uh, some of these or little stickers, or you could just cut your paper and put it, you know, like halfway around, wrap it halfway around. This stuff is sticky. But if I just take a little bit more off, I think I come across down here just a little bit. Okay. I like that. And then see, you could still tuck something in there. I think that's really cute. Then over here, What do I want to do? Do I want to do anything? This is a really pretty page. Let's see. That almost looks like velvet. That is so pretty. Oh, no. 
could put well I don't know let's let's skip this one I don't know now on this what I could do I think I had a piece that was cut that was cut out already um where I was cutting the drawers there you go okay so you're really not losing that much of this so I'm going to take this my scissors and I'm going to cut this right in here and then when you look at it it's almost the same thing and then we can put as a little bottom pocket so I like that So I'm going to put it all along the bottom. And the side. And then we're going to try to line that up in between there. And see, then we have, and give it a little squish, and we have our pocket. I love that. So if you wanted to put a candy bar in there, whatever, you definitely could do that. So I don't know if I want to do anything else on that page because we're not through. We're going to come back. This I love. Okay. This, I was, what was I going to do? Um... I don't know. We'll skip that one. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I think I was going to do a pocket. I was. I was going to do a pocket and act like all that was down in there. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut this. Let's see. I think I'm going to cut this. I want to prefer those. I think I like this first, but that's upside down. But I could still put it. I think I'm just going to cut this right across, maybe up to here. So let me cut it, and I'll be back. All right, I cut it. But I need to cut more off of it. So I'm actually going to cut it, I think, to about right there. Oh, I like that. I really do. Okay. Okay. So, once again, I'm going to glue this and turn it into a pocket. And I love these chocolates, but it doesn't really bother me that I'm losing some of it because you get the drift. So, I'm really not worried. And then push it just a little bit. <laughs> and it almost looks like all these chocolates are in that. So I like that. This is turning out very nicely. And then I'm going to go through and see like what I want to do before I see if I want to, what I want to put in these little pockets. Okay. Now on this one, you could do... Do I want to put this on anything else? Could maybe. I don't really like that on that page. I don't really like it on that page. So let's see. Here's our coffee. And the steam, but I don't know. All right. Now, do I want to say chocolate? I think that adds. But I'm going to wait to see if I want to put it anywhere else. I don't know what I want to put here. Ugh. See, I could put that candy bar in there, but I don't know. And over here...
Isn't this gorgeous, this cup? Kind of like that. You could make it as a tuck as well. Let me see if I want to put it anywhere else. Might be prettier over there. Let's see. She's there. That's there. But I don't know. Then I saw where I had some, um, I had a table and chairs. But with that binding, I don't know. And I was thinking about putting, um, maybe that's where I was going to put coffee break. Oh, no, I know what I, I think I know what I was going to do. Okay, where is it? I want to make a belly band. Now, what page do I want to make my belly band on? Okay. It can be on that page. Do I have any other pages that I've skipped? Yes. Could be there, could be there, could be there. Could be on that one. Could be on that one. Could be on that one. Let's make the belly band first. So I need to make, cut this at six inches and I'll be right back. Now with my belly bands, I typically, you know, bend it over and do that, but I'm not gonna do it with this one, okay? You know, where you um, score it and then bend it over, all that. I'm not gonna do that with this one. Okay, what I want to do is just get a bunch of different chocolates. And this has so many wonderful ones. It is not even funny. Look at this. And then look at all these cutouts. I love this. I think I was going to put this. What was I going to do with that? I was going to do something with this. But I don't remember. I really want to use this. Oh, I think I was going to use it on here. Okay. All right. So we have that. And they can be all crooked and coming off. It doesn't matter what you do. Um, just don't want, let me see it on a page. I don't want it to really be sticking out of the journal that's the only thing that i don't want maybe i'll put this one here or maybe in the middle to lighten up some of that it's got an awful lot of dark i could put that and then Tilt that, tilt that, and tilt that. But I don't think it's going on that page because I don't think it shows up. All right, so it's going to go. I think I'm going to keep this one. Sh no, I'm going to tilt it. So many possibilities with this paper. Alright. I don't mind it sticking up a little bit. Okay. There we go. Then I'm going to put the bottom one on. Because. I'll make sure that I have enough. It's sticky. It doesn't want to come off. Come on. Okay. Okay, if that's going to go like that, 
that's going to go like that. And then this one is going to go like that. I love this little tool that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It's very handy. Okay, then we're going to put you oh, about there. And if I'd have put it on lighter paper, it would have shown up better, but I like it like this. And then we're going to put this one right there. And look at that. That's such a cute belly band. Okay. Now, what page do we want to put it on? Oh, I could, but see, I have a pocket, so I don't want to put it on that. That looks pretty good. That looks good here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this off because it's going to stick to my papers. And I don't want it to. If I'd have left the stuff on there, it wouldn't have been bad, but I didn't. The little um, part that peeled off. But I think it looks good like that. Oh, I have to get the bottom. Kind of gives it a better look, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Could put it there. That looks nice. No, I can't put it there. I have a pocket. That's interesting. Okay, it's either going to be this one or this one or this one. And I think I like this one. Okay, so just going to glue at the top and the bottom. Like I said, normally I use score tape and fold those edges, but I'm not going to do it with this one. This one is just a really simple little junk journal about coffee and chocolate. And I could have put it all the way over on the edge, but I wanted to put it in the center, okay, and push it just a little bit so we have some give. We'll make something to go in there. So let's see. We've got the first page basically done. We've got this. I really like that. I like this. This is a little tuck. There's that. Might put something on there. Then here's this with our little... It's such a hidden pocket, you can't even tell. Do I have anything? I want to use this chocolate bar somewhere. Oh, I have a pocket, so okay. Well, it's kind of cute there. Don't ask me why, but I think I like it right here. I do not know why, but I think I do. Okay, so I'm just going to tear the bottom part of this so that I can make it into a tuck. And up just a little bit. Okay. All right, and we're going to put this right here. <laughs> I think that is so just interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Now, do I want to put anything on this? I don't know. Let's go back here. I was thinking about doing this on this page. I could put it here. 
and I'm going to put this all the way down. Okay, I'm going to adhere this totally. I'm going to try to put it underneath. coffee okay then with this I think I'll just make it like a little that is so I don't know if that what that would do I might just make it I may just adhere this totally you could do whatever you wanted to do you could put a pocket on here I don't know how long I've been on here. I don't want this to be a two-hour video. That's a bit much. Okay. Oh, like I said, sticky. Okay, and then I want that to look like it's coming right out of that teapot. <laughs> it's talking about Arabica coffee, so I like that. All right, let's see. We need to do some more things. I really like this teacup. I think it's really... Well, it looks like it's full of chocolate. I may put that right there and definitely make it as a top. Or I could do another pocket because I really feel this could use... I want to use that as a pocket again. I don't know. Let's look what we have. Mm. I might... Since I have some of these already cut, I was trying to think maybe if I wanted to use them. Hmm. That is not bad right there. I like all those coffee stains. Oh, but then look at that. Mm. Where do I want to put that? Oh, wouldn't that be pretty on this? And I could put a pocket over here. That would be really pretty there. I'm going to cut this and put this on here. I'll be right back. Okay. I think that adds a lot of interest to this page. I love it. Okay, we're going to put that on here. Then I'm going to look and see how long I've actually been on here because... I don't want to have a two-hour video. I don't want to have an hour and a half. I don't mind doing an hour, but I really don't want to go beyond that. So let's see. Put this on here, and then let me see how long. Oh, that's cute. I've been on here. Okay, I've checked. I have been on here already over an hour. So I'm going to turn this into a three-parter. Um, so let me briefly go over what we did today. We decorated some of this, not all, but we definitely did the tab closure. I really like that. And it's a very easy way to close a junk journal. And I love the Stamperia coffee and chocolate paper. So we did a little bit of embellishing. I really like how that turned out. And like I said, you could have made this a tuck if I had thought about it, but I didn't. And then this is here. This is a little tuck. And then this is our belly band. We have more embellishing to do. And some of these pockets are so hidden, it's hard to tell that they're a pocket. So, and then we made this pocket, another little tuck. I love this. Okay, and then we put this on here. Haven't done that yet. Put this pocket here. And then we have a little bit more of embellishing to do. We have to put our ribbon on. So, and then we're going to have to make some little things to go in our pockets and belly bands. 
So join me Monday for part three of this little video. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share the video, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. It will help this young channel flourish. So until next time, stay crafty.